The state of Wisconsin does have a goal to reach 100% carbon-free electricity by 2050. That's laid out in the state's first ever clean energy plan, which was released in 2022. Among its goals, lower energy bills and prices for working families, promote energy independence by reducing reliance on out-of-state energy sources, and build a robust clean energy workforce by generating 40,000 jobs by 2030. Since then, the state has awarded millions in grants for renewable energy projects, helped facilitate the creation of a new statewide community solar cooperative, and strengthen the Focus on Energy program. A 2023 progress report from the state's Office of Sustainability and Clean Energy said Wisconsin will need substantially more financing to scale up solutions. Funding has often been a sticking point when it comes to fighting climate change. Our political reporter, Darielle Fair, sat down with stakeholders working to address policy. She's got you covered on how they say the state should redirect its approach to those funding opportunities. Climate change not only impacts the state's infrastructure, but low-income communities of color and tribal nations who are highly exposed to these environmental hazards. In March, Governor Tony Evers signed off on two proposals, allowing the state to receive $78 million under President Joe Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law to expand electric vehicle charging stations. Wisconsin was one of the last states to access that funding, needing to first amend a statute that restricted who could install charging stations. Executive Director of the Wisconsin Local Government Climate Coalition, Allison Carlson, says there are a number of clean energy solutions and climate grants that provide many benefits to local communities, and the state should take more advantage of those opportunities. If we can't make our way through those barriers, then that really does um, put at risk um, our ability to um, uh, to compete, I think, um, because a lot of this does relate to economics. In December, Democratic lawmakers introduced a package of 20 bills to address climate change. The proposals focused on clean energy infrastructure, fossil fuel conservation through sustainable agriculture, and urban forestry grants for communities disproportionately impacted by environmental heat islands. None of those proposals were scheduled for a public hearing this legislative session. The environment is not a partisan issue. I mean, we all swim in the same waters, we all breathe the same air, and we should be working together on common sense solutions. I asked Representative Deb Andraka whether lawmakers plan to introduce similar legislation when the legislature reconvenes next year. She says she hopes this year's general election will bring new lawmakers to the conversation willing to take a bipartisan approach to saving the planet. Reporting in Madison, I'm Darielle Fair. Up next, how Wisconsin is shifting away from fossil fuels and turning to cleaner energy sources and the monastery that's on its way to net zero energy future.